In this video, we will know the difference between creating a list view using the default constructor and creating a list view using the list view builder. First, let's see when do we use the default constructor to create the list view. And in case if you don't know how to create a list view using the default constructor, then check the link in the description. Now let's come to the point. We use the default constructor to create the list view when we have a small number of children because it constructs even those children that are invisible to the user. And what do I mean by invisible to the user? That means the user has not yet scrolled the list to view those items. For example, we have 20 items to display and only 10 items are visible on the screen and the rest items will be shown to the user when the user scrolls. So at a time, we only need 10 items to be constructed. But when we use the default constructor, it will construct all the 20 items instead of constructing just those 10 children that are actually visible. So it would be inefficient if we have a large number of items. But this is not the case with list view builder. Let's see how. When we create list view using the list view builder, then we pass two parameters to it. The first one is the item count, which is the number of items you want to display, but it is an optional parameter. And the second parameter is the item builder, which builds the children on demand. So we use the list view builder when we have a large number of children because it builds only those children that are visible on the screen. If we take the earlier example of 20 items, then with the list view builder, only 10 items will be constructed first. And as the user scrolls, then the next item will be constructed. So in short, the default constructor construct all the child that could possibly be displayed in the list view instead of just those children that are actually visible. And with the list view builder, the builder is called only for those children that are actually visible. So that's all about the list view and list view builder. Goodbye.